Uh, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to our movie club, <laughs> movie class. And today we will speak about the movie Untouchables. Unta- the Untouchables. And I forgot the year, but it was 1980 something. 1987, Seven. let's say. Yeah, very good. Okay, and we have a newspaper there on my shared screen. <laughs> you, can read, you are you one can of the that. untouchables, right? <laughs> no, no, not me. I'm, um, you know, um, <laughs> I don't know where, where I am. <laughs> so there is an article who says about our classes and about untouchables in general, so we can read it. But the article starts, let me read the beginning. In 1930, during prohibition, the notorious blah, 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 blah. So what is the prohibition? What do we know? What do we know about this? Leila, what do you know about the um, prohibition? The prohibition is about alcohol and um, mm. the government took a lot of precautions and it is illegal if you buy alcohol, but, you know, What about drink it? Is it illegal? Oh, so if you not buy it. illegal as well. <laughs> if you sell it, it's illegal, right? Right, for sure. But a lot of people are just drinking and Al Capone is, you know, selling, earning a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Leila, may, may I ask you, what, what do you think? Is it a good thing to have this prohibition? Like it, no, was it I a don't good act? Agree. Or- I don't agree. You know why? Yeah, if you drink a lot, it is not good. People used to obey the rules. While you are mm-hmm. driving a car, you mustn't drink alcohol. But mm-hmm. if you like drinking alcohol, go somewhere, eat something, drink alcohol with your friends. But don't lose your control. Yeah, but how to how to reach this? You know, you cannot. <laughs> it, it's very hard to control people in this way. You know, it's very hard to say no, just I... drink one, one one bottle. What we did in the U.S. was we started the designated driver habit. Mm-hmm. You have a group of people go out in a car together. One of them is the designated driver, and he's not allowed to drink. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, we a, have a, a lot of people uh, don't do it. Yeah, <laughs> Vasans, please. In, in India, the government undertakes the legal business uh, to make it legal because if they ban it, then they would then I say that uh, the illegal activity will start to grow. You know, even some politicians will start. To sell and buy them liquors illegally. So, in order to maintain the uh, balance, they took the control of uh, uh, alcohol and they they manage it because uh, a government should not take a decision about the citizen what to eat and what not to eat. You know, it's about all the eating habits is. So it's like um, some sort of lifestyle, you know. You should not say what to eat or what not to eat. You have to accept that, and Un- unless it it doesn't affect the society. You know? Yeah. But it always affects in some some way, you know. Is it a good way or bad way? But it's always affect because it's a, sure. a big thing. So I know that in some countries there are like a culture of alcohol, right? So Spain, for instance. Jar, can you imagine a Spain without wine? Hmm. Alcohol and the tourists that come to Spain, <laughs> yes. they spend drinking. It's a very important part of their holidays, drinking. Otherwise, they wouldn't come. <laughs> yeah, well, well, let, let's take aside uh, tourists. What about Spaniards? Would they survive? Would would they survive survive without alcohol? Mm-hmm. Or oh, it's an important part of culture, right? Yes, but I think many many countries, <laughs> most countries. <laughs> United yes, States, right. Russia, yes, right. <laughs> Britain, the United Kingdom, they drink a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, and alcohol, as teacher Lee no mentioned in our pre-war session, there are, uh, alcohol has a lot of like bad uh, like influences, or how is it, Conse- consequences? Rem- consequences, ramifications. 
Right. Yeah. Because, For because example, it's, it's like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ivan, you go ahead, please. Well, what, what, what comes to my mind when the sink of alcohol? So people lose cont control, some of them, because of alcohol, and they become to be like a danger for society. They yeah. attack people. They steal something. Yeah. They have bad habits. They, they lose control. So, and it's always bad. It's um, like it's, 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 it's provoke crimes. It's uh, more uh, work for police. So that part that I don't like. So another thing that people have uh, health issues because of alcohol, right? It's people. Some people drink to to the to, to death. Actually, so they can drink, and I don't know. In Russia, it's very popular way to make a suicide. It's drink enough and uh, <laughs> and snow and sleep in snow. So one way one way ticket. I would say. It's a one way ticket. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> so and and some and, and some countries like we in Russia, we don't have culture of alcohol. So it's. Uh, it's uh, impossible to imagine that someone drinks just one glass of beer or one glass of wine and then in civilized, civilized way uh, make a conversation. No, it's not for Russia. In Russia, we, we drink until we stay, you know. <laughs> then, but, then something bad something bad. Happens. I was going to tell you when my daddy used to drink one glass of Rick or whiskey twice mm -hmm. or three times a week and he enjoyed himself a lot, that's all. And uh, as for me, I can't drink alcohol because I witnessed a um, drunk man um, stabbed a woman when I was at the age of seven. Since then, I can't, I can't drink alcohol. It is something psychological. Well, maybe, maybe it's a good thing for you, <laughs> you know? So yeah, my mom is usually... very happy, of course. <laughs> but uh, it is not good to lose your control to damage others you know i don't know yeah there are a lot of actually so are, are there any good like uh, any pros of taking alcohol so what what positive we can take from this um Just, it is said that wine what? is good for health one glass of wine in Spain, but I, I, I don't know, Leila. Yeah. In Spain, like to drink wine with food while while we are eating. Yeah. And we choose a special one for um, different meals, you know, for fish or for meat is different. And yeah. we, uh, wine is especially drunk with the food, not alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I heard that some people say that alcohol uh, makes them more relaxed, like it's a way of relaxation. So they drink a bit and they kind of switch off of reality or something, but I, I don't think it's really necessary, <laughs> maybe for some. So I think that there are more negative things than positive. So in of general, course, for, just for, think for, about for, being addicted to alcohol, you know, just it's, it's another just, thing. Be yeah. terrible. It's another thing. It's another thing with alcohol that you you never know when, when you become an alcoholic. You cannot prevent this. You started really? to drink one. Yeah, yeah. You started to drink one glass a day, and you think I'm totally fine. And then you find that you are alcoholic. You cannot stop it, and you need it more and more and more. And actually, it's a it's a drug. You you you, uh -oh. you got a what? <laughs> we we consider it a disease in America. Alcoholism is a disease. Once you catch it it's difficult to get rid of it. It's like getting hooked on heroin, uh, basically. Any, any yeah. treatment against it? No? Mm. Yeah. They say, uh, but they, they say once an alcoholic, it's lifetime yeah. alcoholic. You will struggle oh. with this for the rest of your time, probably. Wow. I, I know you... something, a treatment. There are some pills that you take them, then you cannot drink alcohol because you feel very bad. You drink a little bit of alcohol, you 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 feel very bad, like dizzy, you know, nausea. I, I met one guy that uh, took th those pills. <laughs> we uh, there are some yeah. There's also some things called nicotine pills. That that what you what what is addictive is a chemical in cigarettes call or an al in an alcohol. Right. Well, I think I'm thinking of cigarettes. Never mind. 
Mm -hmm. uh, alcoholism, this, yeah, basically you have to just slowly stop drinking as much until you can stop. But the problem with alcoholism is once people stop, they can never drink again because once they take one drink, that <laughs> addiction in their body just flares up and they start drinking like crazy. So once they stop, they can never take a single drink after that. Wow. It's a, very, a terrible addiction. Yeah. 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 It's a, yeah. I, I, it's it's what I believe. Yeah. It's what what, what I believe that uh, it's kind of a, a, a disease for for the rest of your life. You cannot say just I am I'm cured. I I can be what we say a rational uh, consumer of alcohol or something. So it's one way ticket, as I said. <laughs> But so, 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 so for, for society and for personal like on personal level on society level, it's more negative than positive. So we understand why governments of different countries they try to they try to uh, try to what? try to mitigate the negative effect of this. So yes, they try to make uh, consumption of alcohol less and less. They try to to, to less uh, consumption. So for instance, in my country, what government makes the alcohol uh, has a lot of special taxes and it's it's cost a lot. So and cost loss. but it's uh, not really effective, you know, because when uh, when the price uh, became to be like that, people cannot afford it. They start to make alcohol by themselves, or yes. they start to buy it on black market. So it's not really works. Right? Ivan, one of Those my were, friends make at home. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, that's the problem. To make an alcohol, what do you need, Sergey? What do you need to make an alcohol? Uh, I think it's, uh, uh, potatoes and uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all and spe special equipment. Uh, and my childhood, my my grandparents have uh, had special equipment for make uh, home alcohol, and we had uh, this everywhere. But it is a kind of fermentation, I think, because one of my aunts made liqueur. Mm -hmm. At home. Well, yeast. What what we need? It's uh, actually to make an alcohol. You need two things. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Well, yeast. Yeast. It's yeast. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. So you need you need yeast and sugar. That's all. And water. Yeast, sugar, and water. And you you already have alcohol. All the rest. All the rest is just for flavor. All the rest oh. is just to make some some flavor or um, taste or something. But yeast and sugar make alcohol perfectly. And speaking about oh. special uh, devices, all you need is usual kettle. You know, if you have a metal kettle, you you need every, you have everything. So <laughs> it's very very easy to, to to make. And I I read once that in Soviet Union sometimes they notice that there is no sugar in the country. All the sugar is bought. So, so <laughs> it's because when they when they raise the price for alcohol, people start to buy sugar and make alcohol by themselves. Ah, so, okay. <laughs> so it's kind of an indicator wow. of this. Okay. What about potatoes? <laughs> potatoes, uh, but <laughs> potatoes contain uh, a lot of um, how we call it uh, a part of uh, of part of sugar starches. Right, starches. Starches are sugar. Yeah, they're a Starch. form of glucose yeah. sugar. Yeah, exactly. It's a form of glucose. So potato and yeast made alcohol. So you don't need sugar anymore. But you make vodka. <laughs> I think it's vodka that it made with potatoes, isn't it? Is vodka? No, 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 no. Any, any no, alcohol? No. Potato is a joke. No, potato is a joke, really. Potato it's made for low quality alcohol. So vodka made of um, corn, made of wheat, and right. Okay. How we call it? We yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, <laughs> so what 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 we're talking wheat? Yes, wheat. Exactly. Wheat. Uh, it's uh, vodka, and vodka is another pro another kind of process. It's um, <laughs> I cannot. I think I can explain this. But the chemical process is a bit different. That's why uh, vodka is kind of a pure spirit, pure spirit. It has a spirit. It has very low uh, different chemicals in it than, for instance, brandy or cognac or something. Now, I've heard that vodka is unique among alcohols because it has no smell on your breath. Is that true? Yes. 
Yes, yes. It's just it's just pure alcohol. So it's just without any flavor, any uh, taste. So you can make whatever you want, any cocktail. So you just have it's spirit. It's and you, you can drink at work and no one knows. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they smell, so they can smell an alcohol <laughs> still. <laughs> well, no, I, 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 I read that, that vodka has no smell. You can't smell it, vodka. Good. It does? <clears throat> It does. It, it has some smell. Yeah. yeah. It, okay. it doesn't have like smell uh, different than spirit, but it has like solid spirit, um, alcohol taste. And, okay. Uh, okay. Smell. Yeah. All right. Okay. So what? What? <laughs> we are not doing. How we call it? Moonshine. Actually, how we call this? Uh, yeah. Moonshine. Kind of alcohol. Yeah. Moonshine. I put it in, the, in the chat alcohol. area. Yeah. <laughs> that we made by uh, by our own so much, uh, homemade alcohol. You should already wrote this. Yeah. So I, um, <laughs> I, 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 as I said in our when we started that in Soviet Union we have own prohibition. So like in like in America, and when it happened, people just started to sing uh, to drink moonshine. So immediately they bought a lot of sugar and pro made homemade alcohol. But in America, it was different, right? They just uh, still have alcohol from Canada and Mexico and everywhere. And it provoked a, a big, big, big like crime, right? Smuggling, a new business, a new crime. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, how, how long was prohibition usually? Prohibition. I, I, I put some stuff in the chat area up at the top. Prohibition lasted 13 years. You believe wow, that? 13 was. years. Yeah. <laughs> I, I expected it to be five years or three years or something like this. And you yeah. asked me earlier, you know, how popular was the movement to uh, implement prohibition? It was an amendment, mm -hmm. a change to our constitution called an amendment, the 18th Amendment. To change our constitution was made deliberately very difficult by our founding fathers so that someone like Putin wouldn't make 127 changes all at one time. <laughs> so to approve an amendment, two-thirds of Congress, two-thirds of the House, and two thirds of the Senate must all agree. And after that, three fourths of all states have to approve it. So the support to implement the, um, the prohibition amendment was tremendous. It was 75% of the states wanted prohibition. And two thirds of the congressmen voted for prohibition. So it was a pretty widespread movement at the time. May have been a lot of religious influence in this push, but it was very widespread. Well, yes, hard to believe that people wanted this, wanted to <laughs> regulate them. Yeah. <laughs> They repented but, <laughs> very soon. <laughs> but but probably there was a reason, right? Probably people suffered a lot from alcohol or something. So yeah, the, the cons there were must, too great. Yeah, yeah, there must be reason. Yeah. Whew. Very 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 interesting very interesting stuff for me because. I don't know because it's it's really provoked a huge black market, right? A huge crime, crime and uh, why why uh, actually why all the smuggling in, in the movie was Italians? So why Italians? Is there us? Is there something special about them? The first mob families that came to New York were Italian. Mafia is mm -hmm. an Italian word. La Cosa Nostra, our family. The Italians were the first mobsters in New York. So probably their influence carried over to Chicago. I don't know. I, I read in one article that it's kind of, it's all because of waves of immigrants. So the first wave was like Saxon and German. The next one is Ireland. 
uh, the next one is Italian, and the each wave they uh, kind of in a bad situation. They don't have uh, like jobs yet. They don't have own communities. They're not adapted. So uh, the it's a normal thing for new immigrants to be involved to some crimes. So it's just natural thing. Maybe, and yeah. they say that the wave of wave of Italians, so new immigrants, they just become at that time a time of uh, prohibition. So that that how mafia happened. I don't know. Can we believe yeah. this or not? Well, no. remember the Godfather. I think the Corleone family. I think that's based in history. They really were a a family, an Italian family, and they started the mob uh, in America. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, we really had that. <laughs> yeah, actually, I don't think we can learn something about mafia from this movie. This movie is kind of no. um, no, superficial. Chicago oh. was more homegrown mob mobsters. Al Capone was an American, <laughs> so prohibition caused an American mob to a mobster organization. Yeah. I see. I see. Okay, another question, another question, just, you know, we're talking about circumstances. So, who was this, uh, you know, in the movie, we have, we have this guy, uh, Elliot, he's a special agent of Treasury of United States. So, it's kind of, kind of like a marshal, or what, what is his uh, uh, limits of authority? I don't know exactly. I always thought I always thought he was FBI. I didn't realize he was just a Treasury Department guy. Treasury Department usually doesn't do law enforcement. But maybe back in 1920, maybe we didn't have the FBI back then. So maybe the Treasury Department was the FBI back then. I'm not sure. Well, it, it looked to me like a like a like a federal marshal or something because police uh obey to him <laughs> like he he says something and they say, yeah, yes he, sir yeah he was federal no doubt he was federal they had power <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay i think we covered a bit of circumstance let's start from the for, for, for the story for the movie uh, Leila, have you have you watched the movie i guess yes i love it Okay, oh. tell us, tell us, tell us the beginning of the story. Oh. Let's let's learn the story. The, the beginning of the story, I just saw a man having his nails manicured and pedicured. His eyes uh, were just, you know, closed. That they put a kind of uh, small towel on his eyes. I think he is getting, you know, just trying to feel relaxed, and. Um, he was making jokes and around him there are, if I'm not a journalist or something like that, taking his photos and he's making jokes. But I have heard one sentence. So I said, okay, this man is involved with alcoholism, illegal alcohol stuff. And he said, I sell and everybody must buy. So, and then... Uh, it stopped there. I saw uh, a man enter the shop, a very nice, cozy place. And uh, the man, the old man said that, no, I'm not going to buy anymore. Meanwhile, a very cute small girl came into the shop. And another guy uh, heard this conversation that the old guy was not going to buy. I thought drinks alcohol drinks anymore that man left and the other guy left his briefcase and went away as well and the small girl ran after him trying to give the briefcase to him but then we understood that it was the bomb because it exploded and the girl died <clears throat> yeah a, a, a tragedy we can see this yeah uh, but what is, was it an argument about about alcohol i'm not sure as, as i got it it was about protection money or something so a mafia guy just came here and um, but he said just... i'm not going to buy anymore the old okay. guy that... okay maybe you're right maybe i got it yeah. probably it's the same idea ivan i think buy alcohol from us so we can make a profit 
That's the protection money. In effect, that's protection money is basically you're taking profit from, uh, you know, a yeah, business. I understand. So it's yeah. one form of protection money. They want to make, they want yeah. something from you for nothing, you know, profit. Yeah. yeah, just work for us, actually, right? Work for us, or we we'll extortion. Yeah, yeah. Gerard, you were saying something. Extortion, I think, is the word. Extortion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, um, yeah, it was terrible. And they, the, those gangsters, they usually uh, wear suits, right, and special yes. like like uniform, uniform, right. <laughs> <laughs> first class suit and we, we can see that so, yes yeah, this one is a gangster yeah three piece suits yeah okay let's continue Gerard, could you please mm, okay uh, so well um Ness, Elio Ness is sent yeah. to Chicago to try to address this problem with both lagging everybody knows that uh, Al Capone is the boss of the, this, the mob, but uh, it looks like uh, Al Capone has bought everybody, even the mayor of the city. First time, um, Elionez tried to start an operation because it was tipped tip that there was no place that there was alcohol from Canada, but actually there were umbrellas in, instead because the police officers were bought but paid were, were bribed by Al Capone. So it was very difficult to do something against Al Capone. And nobody wanted yeah, to, actually, uh, to make him hungry. hungry. Yeah, it's, I, I think it was a kind of a key scene for us, scene for, for us to show that he has no one to work with, right? So he started to work with police, but police just called Al Capone and said he will make his stake out there and there. So it's impossible to, to catch them. <laughs> And I like the dialogue. In the... Yeah. It was very funny. Thinking of him with the umbrella. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was so enthusiastic at the beginning. So a bad, you know, a good guy. Let's do something good. Bam, 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 bam. And then what they found some Chinese umbrella. Yeah. And I, I like uh, the dialogue in the beginning. You know, he was so tough guy. He went there to police department and say. I know many of you has a habit of drinking something. Not from this day. Not from this day. Not anymore. Now you are special selected squad against. <laughs> so he he pretended he was like enthusiastic and uh, tried to motivate people. But people work there for I don't know for ten years. They already corrupted. They already have some money, so they don't care about him. <laughs> they <laughs> they uh, they nodding to him and then do what what they want. So it was a interesting moment between like a young enthusiastic guy and you know reality so i like it this okay what else what happened after this uh, unsuccessful <laughs> operation yeah he was heavily trolled by the local newspapers and the public um, because he projected himself as a savior or a, a good cop you know, who was there to demolish the empire, or the legal empire. But um, after this incident, he was uh, trolled and he was disappointed somehow and decided to um, let's say that, choose another team. It was an accident. He was uh, reading uh, the newspaper about him, the newspaper article, and he threw that newspaper away. Uh, from the bridge, then the another uh, good cop, the beat cop, uh, passed by, uh, noticed his he was uh, littering the uh, river. So he had a chat with him. He warned him that uh, he should not uh, litter the uh, river. Um, then they had some chat and. Uh, he somehow sensed that he was a good cop, but he still is struggling with the low level job. And he didn't get the job he deserved. So- um, Like, like he, promotion, right? He was, yeah, a good, he was a good cop, but he was working on the street, but he, it, 
as I got it, it was his choice. He said, my first priority is survive. <laughs> I don't want to be in the war of uh, mafia. I, so I'm, uh, I'm walking on the street and I'm, I'm, I'm fine with this. Actually, yeah. I like a dialogue between, yeah, between them. Do you remember this dialogue between them? Yes, 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 yeah. He, he seemed to be very knowledgeable as well as very rational, you know. He found out that he had uh, the uh, guy, Ness, had a gun in his jacket. Uh, but mm -hmm. he didn't care. He, he said, why do you carry a gun? Then he said, I'm a treasury department officer. And okay, he left him. But again, he persuaded him and asked about, why did you leave me? I just said, what if I said a lie? You know, what if I am not a uh, treasury officer, but a criminal? And he said, it does, uh, how do you say that? What will happen then? Say, who? Yeah, someone who will claim <laughs> that he is not. Yeah. yeah. Who, who would lie that he's a secret agent of <laughs> treasure? Yeah. Yeah. So it's something undesirable as, as, I, as I got it. <laughs> yeah, so, so he got, he, he, he was impressed by Malun uh, like uh, skill, right? And he started to think about making his team and he started to convince Malun to join him in this uh, war. And Malun always asked him, how far we can go? How far are you ready to go? And Elio said, I would use any legal ways <laughs> to, to, be, to beat Capone. So they actually become a team, but it's not the whole team, right? Sergey, who else was in, in the team? How they got it? And uh, Ness, uh, Ness has uh, Ness, uh, met a, an accountant in the uh, police department who told him about uh, some problem with uh, income of Al Capone. And uh, he was uh, not corrupted, and uh, Ness uh, showed that uh, he uh, would be good uh, as a teammate for, for his team. And after that, they uh, went to a place where uh, police, young policemen training uh, a gun. And uh, he, met, uh, uh, he met men, and uh, what's your name? Oh, John Smith. Are you, are you sure that you're John Smith? What's your name? Uh, Giuseppe Salvioli. Uh, okay, are you Italian? <laughs> yeah, and uh, I uh, thought that uh, it, would, it would not be good for his team because so we are talking about Italian mafia and maybe he's a corrupted po uh, policeman in the, uh, from Al Capone. But not, uh, he uh, will be good uh, for this team. And after that, they uh, have, they had four uh, teammates with good nets. So you, you expected that this guy, George Stone, with the Italian origin, he will be like a double agent, right? He's sent by uh, Capone to the police. I, I understand why you think so. It's what uh, our, you know, immigrants in Russia do. <laughs> they send their brothers to work in police. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, to, say, to say the truth, uh, uh, Sergei, I expected this as well. I expected something, you know, some complications, some, some yeah. kind of twist of, of, of the plot. But there, there were none, right? So the George Stone was just a just a good good guy with a with the perfect skills in shooting, right? Yeah, that's all. Uh, so they formed a team. They formed a team. What they what was the first deal, Leila? Do you remember what was the first um, deal? Let me think. They went to the post office somewhere like that. Yeah, it was post office, I think. Or right. some bank or something like this. Malone took them, and uh, yeah, Ness was uh, a bit surprised why we are just going in this place, and he knows everybody knows that this is the place where they produce alcohol. If I'm not wrong, so they keep. I think, keep I, I think they, they store they store and sell from this place. Not okay, them. it was a kind of breaking. Right, Teacher Lee, can I say breaking? We call it a raid. Yeah. Okay. A raid. 
A raid um, is like an assault with a bunch of people all at once, like a yeah. SWAT team. They raid the place. Yeah. R A I D, right? Raid. Yeah, like a, like an okay. air raid. Yeah. Okay, and then they uh, were successful. They found some things there, and a fat guy was try to was trying to stop them, but he couldn't manage. He was in Al Capone's team. He was responsible for that store, I guess, because, mm -hmm. you know, he was killed later. Yeah, so Al Capone was, was mad about this, yes? So yeah. As, 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 as Malone said, there is no problem to know where is Al Capone. Everyone in the city knows where exactly yes. it is Al Capone. Mm -hmm. The problem is the the problem is the cross the way of Capone. Who can who can do this? Who can uh, start the war? Right? That I am against you. So that was the problem. So these four, these brave four, they are untouchable. Teacher Lee, Teacher Lee wrote in the chat that untouchable mean, means uh, incorruptible, right? Incorruptible. It's impossible to corrupt them, or they uncorrupted already. So yeah. I I saw that untouchable uh, are Capone team. Because in, in our language, untouchables uh, people who uh, has uh, some corruption scheme and they, you uh, couldn't uh, send uh, to, uh, to, to prison. No, it's the opposite. The uh, good guys were the untouchables. Uh -huh. the, the, they have not been touched yet, right? <laughs> the, the, yeah. the, yeah. That's the reason. No, nobody yeah. touches them yet with money, yeah. with something. Yeah. So they are few, fresh. The, the problem was all the politicians were corrupt. Most of the policemen were corrupt. They couldn't trust anyone. So they had to build a team that wouldn't leak out secrets and betray their strategies. So mm -hmm. that's why they were kind of called the untouchable. And I, I think at some point in the movie, someone... A, a bad guy, a gangster, referred to them as, you think you're untouchable, but everyone has their prize, you know? Yeah. And it became their nickname. And actually, it's a, it's, a, it's a good, like, comment, because it's not really clear for me, like, not a native speaker, what is untouchable in this movie. So I was thinking that it's about mafia members, says Sergei. So I saw that you know, nobody can touch us because we kill you after, like, after yeah, this. So yeah. it was my first understanding of this. So, probably. Okay, so Capone got mad about this raid, right? Gerard, do you remember what happened? <laughs> I think he threatened Elio Ness with a guy. Uh, What's the name I, of this guy? Uh, I think there was a dinner, dinner be yes. between mafia. Yeah, we are talking about this. Do you remember? <laughs> we are the team. Yeah, we are the team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was making a motivational speech to his team, right? He was saying, you know, you know, life is going on. We had a fail. It's okay. We are a team. We overcome all this. <laughs> and then what he did, what do you remember? Everyone? Yeah, what, what Al Capone did on this dinner. So in, in the middle of his, you know, oh, motivational yeah. speech, he just killed the guy who, who was in With charge kind of for this stick, place. Right? Baseball stick? Baseball stick, right? We call it a bat, right? Baseball bat. Baseball bat. Yeah. So it was one of his capo, as I say, the captain or something. He was in charge for this. And Capone just killed him during the dinner. And by reactions of others, we can understand it's not something normal, right? So they they were surprised, to say the least. I was amazed. You know, he looked so calm. He was just trying to persuade <laughs> that everybody is great, blah, blah. Suddenly, boom. Yeah, we overcome this crisis. We are the team. We are perfect friends. And then I kill you just, you know, with, with, with no reason. <laughs> Like <laughs> yes, uh, Robert De Niro had less screen pairs than the others, and then I realized they casted him 
for to add weight to that antagonist character you know uh, even though he has less screen space whenever he appears on screen you would think about his role in this movie you know ah oh, there's some important character on screen he will do something so you know there's an equal weight to the antagonist character that's why they captured robert de niro even though he has a small screen space Actually, do we do we call this cameo or something when we <clears throat> when we ask uh, like a famous actor to join for a, for a moment to oh. make movie more f- like uh, we, we call it a cameo appearance. Cameo appearance. Yeah, it was I thought about uh, Robert De Niro in this movie because actually he has how many two minutes of screen time oh, or three minutes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> He was just he was just killing one guy at the beginning then playing hysterical women like I want him dead. <laughs> yeah. I, I watched the movie one time with uh Steven Seagal and Kirk Russell. And in the first like you say the first two minutes of the movie Steven Seagal got killed. And I went, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> so it was Kirk Russell the whole movie. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it was it was kind of the same. Yeah. Okay, so war between uh Elliot like uh, this team of the untouchables and uh Arcapone started. The war started. So they sent someone to to what to threat his family. Do you remember yeah. this Sergey? Yeah. Yes, yes, remember and uh when Ness uh, re- returned at home, uh somebody uh called him. I re- I Uh, uh what's uh, what's happened with your uh, children and family uh and uh, your uh, children are okay okay uh, okay no 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 problem and uh, after that some uh, someone uh drove and uh, nest where where is here where is she where is she i'm here oh whew, it's okay and uh, yeah, he was, uh, he was. <laughs> Yeah. And so some mobster just on the street just asked him, uh, I just, you know, I'm just asking you about your family. Are they okay? You know, because it's a man's duty to care about his family. <laughs> and then he, he, he understood everything and went home and was very emotional right, about all the situation and what he did to his family. And he called uh, his friends and uh, 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 they organized uh, the witnesses protection uh, system i don't know uh, this time uh, this uh, system worked or no but uh, uh, he uh, sent uh, his family to uh, other cities for protection i guess it was not a system i guess it was some kind of friends help or something because do you remember he cannot uh, rely on anyone he cannot trust anyone So he cannot call just you know police and say protect my family because it will be <laughs> bad circums bad consequences of this. Yeah. Okay. So now it 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 started to be personal, right? And for Al Capone and for Elliot, it's not not a, just a job anymore. It's personal thing, and only one will live <laughs> in the end. <laughs> I guess I mean, I'm joking. So what about Canadian guys? Do you remember this? Do you remember this Canadian stakeout or something? The cavalry, the Canadian cavalry. That there was there was a, a shipment of alcohol of a, a Canadian whiskey, and they met the the people who had the drugs with the Canadian whiskey uh, met with the mobsters in a bridge that splits Canada from America. And there was an operation with the four guys, the four untouchables with the Canadian cavalry. And they agreed that they give a signal, but the cavalry started the operation before <laughs> and killed many of those guys and took one, the book, the accountant, the accountant of Al Capone, I think was, it was. And I think- um, they, they captured- uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Malone did a trick, uh, a ruse, I think, to convince that they would kill him if he didn't talk because he threatened a, a corpse. 
he was uh, the cost was already there. Yeah. <laughs> and the other, the accountant thought it was real that shoot a bullet to, through his mouth. <laughs> so, it was a good trick. <laughs> Effective. Yeah, to kill a dead, to kill a dead body twice, right? <laughs> If you're not cooperated, cooperate with us, I will kill you. Bam, bam, bam. bam. And the guy from the cavalry <laughs> said, "I don't agree with this procedure. <laughs> I don't agree." <laughs> so, so they got some evidences, right? They got a they got a book with uh, everything ledger. written, all all this uh, like ledger, yeah. Uh, but it was a uh, kind of how we say encrypted. So it, it was not uh, hard, it was hard to read and they need someone to read and they had this accountant, uh, but he was killed, right? In the police station. Yeah, so, so uh, um, they had like a tactical win, <laughs> a small win. They had everything. They started to sue uh, Al Capone, but Al Capone sent someone to kill accountant. And there was there, there was there were, there was another one accountant in, in, in the town, in the city, and Al Capone tried to hide him. You remember this, right? Yeah. Am I missing something? I mean, is no, there something No, only the elevator scene. Do you remember? You think you are the untouchables, but touched. Ah, yeah. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Essentially said, yes, it was a scene. It was a so personal, a lot of emotions. So he went to Al Capone um, hotel, right? Or where he lived and they have a conversation, if you can say this, a conversation. So then we had a big shooting scene with, uh, <laughs> with um, another accountant. Leila, do you, do you remember the scene in the metro or some train station? Yeah. Shoot out. What was There was the, this lady was the... uh, who is uh, trying to um, climb the stairs with her baby. The baby is in the mm -hmm. baby car, literally, what you call it. Is there a, a special stroller. stroller? Okay. And uh, our dear Nas tried to help her. Meanwhile, everybody started shooting at each other, and I thought the baby was going to die because the skater, he said, it was going down. Um, Stroller, yeah, it was, ah. it was chair by chair, yes. And he had he had to decide: am I a soldier or am I a baby saver? What to do? Yeah. <laughs> But they saved the baby, right? <clears throat> and. Uh, Uh, one of Al Capone's men uh, uh, held the accountant and uh, just so firmly uh, and just uh, showing his gun, but a stone killed him, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Italian guy who, who was proficient yes. in shooting. I love that guy. You know, he was so <laughs> honest. So he killed him. And they took the accountant with them, right? Mm. They've got a, an accountant, as, as, as I remember, and he was uh, uh, agreed to cooperate with, with, with them. Yes, right? cooperate with them, right? Yeah. So they now had everything to to grab Al Capone to go to get. So it, it is going to be Italy. Is it okay? Tax evasion. Yep, tax evasion, not paying taxes. Okay. Yeah, so they, they counted everything and uh, he had like millions of uh, dollars uh, on, the, on, on his account, Al Capone, but he never paid a dollar of taxes. So it was enough for them to took him into the prison. You forgot something important. Before the station scene, uh, Malone was killed. I home. was going to. Exactly. That was he killed. I tried to remember. Before, right? before yeah, the tell station. Us, tell us. Yeah, was killed by how. two guys. One was a knife, and the and the second guy was the the knee. Yeah, yeah. This the very white, very white guy. Um, killed with a shotgun, I think. Yes. Yes. It was an ambush. And the, and to find Malone, he had a. 
this uh, how, box of matches, right? Box of matches and address was written inside this uh, box. So that, oh, right. The, yeah, yeah. That was the important detail how they got them after all, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, Malone was a good guy. We, 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 we skip a few details, but Malone was kind of a, a man of the system, of police system. He, he knew everyone. He knew how it works. He talked to people. He actually protected all of them, all these untouchables. He organized everything. So Elliot is a good guy, but he seems to be very naive and kind of not a man of the system. Some, some you know, enthusiastic young guy from the federal agency. So actually, it was Malone who organized everything, right? So he, who made the, the job, I, I guess. Okay. So the court, the tribunal. Sergey, what happened in the tribunal? The court. Uh, the tribunal, uh, they sent uh, some material to tribunal. They uh, saved uh, a witness. Uh, a new accountant and say started to ha have discussion about Al Capone and uh, prosecutor and uh, lawyer and uh, uh, something uh, something uh, gone wrong and uh, uh, killer uh, of Al Capone uh, told him something and uh, uh, they uh, went out from a court with uh, Ness and police officer and uh, killer. And they uh, started to discuss about it. And uh, strange for me that somebody uh, could go inside the court with guns, but I don't know why. Maybe that do you remember uh, the time it, it's can, it's good, but now I can't imagine it. Yeah, and uh, they uh, took the, uh, the gun, they took uh, Thompson, and uh, uh, Ma uh, Ness uh, wanted to uh, smoke, and he opened... Uh, uh, matches box. Ma matches block, and uh, uh, 1744, oh, it's the uh, address of Malone, and he understood <laughs> all and the uh, uh, killer uh, made an injury of a uh, police officer and uh, they had a uh, uh, racing uh, and the trial with uh, yes, so, so, so the it was a chase on the roof right? Usually, yeah, yeah. there is a special name for this for this police officer in the court what i forgot it so police officer who is in the, who works in the courthouse Oh. We call him a bailiff. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Sergey, I remember that this killer he has a special paper. Do you remember? The paper was a, has a signature of the mayor of the city, and it says that everyone should help this guy because his mission yeah. is very important. I guess it's how he got his uh, uh, weapon inside the the court because he was kind of you know a privileged guy, a kind of secret agent or something. And he worked for Al Capone <laughs> at the same time. So <laughs> very convenient, very convenient. Yeah. So they we have this episode of, I don't know, of acrobatic on the roofs, of shootings and yeah. everything. Yeah, and it's interesting. <laughs> yes, it, it was interesting moment. Then uh, he uh, put on the top of building and uh, he uh, draw inside the car. Where is the killer? He is in the car. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was funny. <laughs> yeah, and uh, actually, I, I think the the scene it was a a moment to show us that Elliot he was a do you remember he was a guy with ideas, right? He said, "I I will use only legal um, ways, so I will never like uh, cross the the border, cross the law." And then on the roof, he he decided to kill the killer, not to arrest him, but to kill them because you know because of Malone, because of yeah. personal things. So he kind of <laughs> developed it, if you can if you can say so, or spoil it. Yeah. So he he changed. Okay. What we forgot? Well, he did that because because the guy said. You're gonna put me in prison, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get out in a you know a year, or I'm gonna have the charges dismissed. I'll be back on the street the next day. 
you know, and Ness knew that was true. So he decided, you know, to lynch good decision to, to make it final. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what we forgot, what, what, what we forgot. Actually, it's almost the end of the movie, right? Uh, the, before the jury's verdict, they understood yeah. that. Yeah, you go ahead. I talked a lot. Please, please, please. 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 Please, please, Ivan. Okay, okay. Let's ask Vasans. Vasans, what happened with uh, Judy in the in the courthouse? In the end, uh, judge uh, stopped the jury from the adjacent court because Ness uh, said that the judge's name is also in the uh, name list uh, that contains the people. Who were bribed by uh, like a bad guy. Mm -hmm. so, um, so the judge uh, was afraid of his own uh, reputation. So he decided to change the juries from the other court. And then, so that they would, uh, how do you say that? Is that a, what do you call it? Is that a convict? No. I, Guilty or not guilty? What is the name of that? Verdict. Yeah. Verdict. Okay. Verdict. So they would give yeah. an unbiased verdict. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so Ness he used some kind of trick. Before that, Al Capone was you know was pretty confident. They were laughing in the court. Okay, what will you do to me? You nothing. So and then when they changed the jury, he started to be nervous. Like in, right. in one moment, do something, do something, <laughs> resolve the situation. But it was too late, right? So we can we can see that jury was some kind of corrupt or threatened or something. So they kind of has some influence on the jury. But of course, they did not have influence for random people, right? So they swap on them in in the in on the spur of the moment. So nobody knew about this. It's a new jury, so probably no way, no way to influence on them. Yeah, good trick, good trick. And the last thing we forget, it's a souvenir from Malone. Do you remember this? Yeah. <laughs> Gerard, yeah, Gerard what was the souvenir? Medallion, yeah. Medallion, Malone got, had a, a medallion with St. Jude, who was the patron of the police officers. And I thought, I thought some, also the impossible courses. Impossible mm -hmm. things, you know. <laughs> and, Malone gave it to, to Elder Ness, but Elder Ness eventually uh, gave it to a stone because he thought that Malone would have liked that a police officer made a stone home him because, you know, it's more related to police officer. And then yeah. also a journalist at the end asked him, the provision will be, will be repelled. What are what you going to do? And Ness said, answer, okay, I'm going to... I have a drink. Yeah. <laughs> because it's legal. <laughs> if it's legal, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To enforce the law, yeah, I think I'll have a drink. Yeah, yeah fine, fine thing. Yeah. Sir, sir, Even Malone had, a, Malone had had a bottle of alcohol inside the oven. The oven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sergei? I, I don't understand how the Americans voted this law. I don't understand because Americans love alcohol so much. Hard to believe. <laughs> we were very religious back then. Sergey, what do you think about prohibition? Would you like that in Russia again? <clears throat> I wanted to tell about the scene with uh, baby carriage and uh, it reminded mm -hmm. me very famous scene from Russian old movie uh, Battleship Potemkin of Sergei Eisenstein when the uh, baby carriage uh, go, go down from the stairs and husbands uh, started and uh, you wait in the uh, death of baby. So, yeah, well, 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 one second, let me ask our, our friends. Have you noticed that the, in this scene, in the movie, we had some sailors? 
No, so if you, you can rewatch it and you see some cells. So it's it's really some kind of irony or some kind of humor. It's based on battleship yeah, patrol. Yeah, yeah. So we can yeah. we can. <laughs> it's it's clearly based. I don't know why. I don't know what the idea in this. But it's it's kind of this scene. This scene. It's reconst like reconstruction of battleship patrol. I don't know why. <laughs> so, well, it was a movie uh, about Brad, Brad revolution. Obama. Was a fan of Sergei Andreevich, but it's a very famous fan <laughs> with the baby killers. <laughs> yes, yes, and it's very old, right? Right? It's a, it's not only black and white. It's made on uh, on very old 19, ancient technique of movie, right? Nineteen twenty, maybe. Yes, something like before Russian Revolution, I guess. <laughs> So yeah, so I, I I don't understand this part. Maybe it's some kind of you know internal jokes of uh, movie makers. Yeah, a lot of times movies will mimic a scene from another movie just to be cute or to to, <laughs> to pay tribute to a you know a great uh, cinematic technique or something. Yeah, yeah. Easter Easter eggs, right? We call sometimes Easter, Easter uh, eggs. Skip. Yeah. Easter eggs. Easter eggs, yeah. Easter eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Easter, yeah. Yes. yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. I, I will find something in Wikipedia maybe about this. I, I just remember. Yeah. But usually, but you never heard about Braninos Potemkin, right? No. Battleship Potemkin. No. Okay. No. It's not. It's not common, right? <laughs> New to me. Is that, is that a Russian movie? Is it Russian? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. All ancient Russian movie. Ancient Russian okay. movie. So okay. one of the first movies in the world, I would say. So you know some. You know, we have this movie like Train Coming or something made in ancient airs, and, and it's one of them. So, okay. <laughs> okay, so what is the moral? What is the moral of the movie? What sounds? Teach us, please. What should we learn from this? We should always follow the legal way. <laughs> <laughs> legal way, yeah. It's a, it's a good one. Leila, what, should, what, what else? What should we learn? Oh, bad people. <laughs> Always lose. Okay, okay, good one. <laughs> I want to believe it. We have an expression, <clears throat> the long arm of the law. <laughs> Whenever yeah. you break the law, sooner or later, the arm of the law will get you. <laughs> it can reach a long yeah. distance. <laughs> okay, I'm going to write it. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, I have nothing to it. I I don't understand the moral. I don't know. Sergey, maybe you, maybe it's may. Yes, it's I have two uh, two moments, and uh, you uh, uh, you don't have to prohibit alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> you could save. You could uh, have a lot of money from alcohol. And the <laughs> second uh, moral is the bribe. It's a bad, uh, it's a bad uh, event, uh, but you can't, uh, uh, you can win uh, with war, with bribe very far. It's a uh, long time. In US, I think it's 30, uh, 40 or 30 years. In Russia, uh, maybe 20. Uh, now we have a lot of problems with uh, bribes, but we are fighting. It's corruption. Them. Okay. Corruption, yeah. The corruption, yes. So, my Something? moral is the remedy is worse than the disease. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, corruption is a, is a huge problem of many, many societies, and some societies have, have, have them in light level. Sometimes, you know, in, in Russia we struggle with this a lot, but sometimes it's worse, sometimes it's better, but in general, nobody is happy about this. <laughs> we never happy about corruption level, and I guess it's something good. We should not be happy about this. We should struggle with this to 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 how to say to zero tolerance or something to zero level. So it's, it's, yeah. I didn't watch the movie, but I read the synopsis, and I mm -hmm. liked Malone's yeah. principles of warfare. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If I bring a knife, you bring a gun. If they kill five of your people, you kill a hundred of his people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was old fashioned, right? Usually, now it's impossible. Yeah. Now we say, hit me in another cheek, you know. Yeah, so yeah. 
<laughs> they are so <laughs> special. So be just be tolerant. You know, it's it's not they. It's it's our it's our fault because we don't educate them well. So. <laughs> Uh, no, Sergey, uh, Gerard, what you wrote, so it's something else. I, I, okay. Sergey Eisenstein. Eisenstein. Sergey, you... please give a, give a link in our chat or something. Okay, yeah, if I... you don't have a questions, let's let's go to the to the slides. Let's time fly. Let me share the screen again. Okay, we we have a, have our joke about first one, about newspaper. Second one. Vova, could you please start with this one? Uh, the, the people, the men of Al Capone uh, go to bar and um, And he he tried to, try to uh, scare the the um, owner 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 owner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Mm. Uh. Okay, let, 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 let me help you. First of all, it doesn't look like doesn't look like a doesn't look like a bar, right? We have a lot of clothes close to, to the windows, so it looks like a closed store or something strange. But at the same time, we have these glasses and this uh, island, so <laughs> it's something combined all together. You know, you can you can drink there and buy new clothes. <laughs> I guess. And girl, girl went there for. Uh, for some food, if I if I remember right, uh, yeah. and this girl was was. Uh, I actually we can see we can see this guy in white clothes. Can you see behind this? He has a small suitcase, and this suitcase with a with a bomb. So this one bomb will blast clothes. Uh -huh. Will will blast uh, after owner refuse the the offer. I guess. Not immediately, but in some time. And now, when I when I look on this guy in a white clothes, uh, I can see that it's the same killer that we have in court courthouse, right? Uh, yeah. What else? So he's wearing what? What is unusual in in an owner clothes? It's a special strap on his arm. Can you see this black strap there? Yeah. Now we don't use them, right? To to hold the sleeve. Actually, can you see this? <laughs> yeah, I guess I'd call it an armband. I, I don't know what it is, what it's called. I I read somewhere that it's just you know just um, holds. Uh, I I cannot can say yeah. makes sleeves shorter, makes sleeves yeah. kind of short. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Strange. Yeah. Now we don't use them. Okay. In order to keep the sleeves cleanly. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like the, sometimes the sleeves are too long and they go down yeah. your hand. So they pull the sleeve back and they put that strap there and it keeps the sleeve from going down over their hand. Yeah. 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 Okay. Fedora head. All the gunsters have, have, have Fedora head, as you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> what else on this picture? Something important? Um, I don't see. Okay, let's let's go to the next one. Hmm. Leila, could you please tell us something about um, this lady? Ness wife, she's in the kitchen. She is so relaxing, lady. She smiles a lot, and uh, the kitchen. I can see the um, wallpaper. And then the kettle, all type of kettle, and the jars, I think full of rice and uh, could be salt or I don't know. And also there are some spatula, I think. Ah, there is the old type of calendar. Mm -hmm. 
my yeah. grandma used to have. And there is the oven. <laughs> and uh, I like her, you know, just the way she's acting, she's smiling, she's talking. She's so, you know, calm and uh, helpful, I guess. Yeah. But if you ask me why we have had her in uh, in the movie, I cannot answer. What is her role? <laughs> to, to make your <laughs> Ness relax. Okay, okay. I, I think she adds nothing to the story, mostly. Yeah, you're right. And this kind, this kind of kettle, metal kettle, you know, metal kettle, it's uh, the only device you need to make a bull shine. <laughs> yeah, we call it a teapot. <laughs> teapot. <laughs> When, you, yeah, when it boils, it, it, it whistles when it boils. Yeah. <laughs> it is old fashioned, Lee, right? Yeah, but we still have them today. Okay. Okay, let's go to the next one. Mm. <laughs> Basans, can you please? Yes, here is Ness. I was reading the newspaper about the previous day's explosion in the shop. And if we can see a table, in, I don't know what kind of table is that, with the uh, drawers. There's a bag, okay, lamps, and boxes. Letters mm -hmm. and photo frames. So. Yeah, that's. Uh, uh, I can read the title of the newspaper and say, ten-year-old yeah. girl slain, then something missed, and beer war continues. Beer war. So probably it was a bar, actually. Yeah. So suitcase, it's a, it's a new, a new a fashion. He <laughs> wore it. He wore right. Wore it. What was the name of this? Uh, okay, a, a little box for cigars, I guess. Maybe uh, yeah. a, a lot of plants, right? Everywhere behind <laughs> the windows and inside. So very green. And there is a small photo in the circle medallion or something. Yeah. With, um, his wife and something. Uh, two black and white photos we can see with, uh, I guess it's from their wedding, I guess, because I don't know. She wears white and probably. And on the right, it's kind of, a, it's it's a, a telephone actually. It's a that telephone. Looks like a telephone, the old kind, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you have a headset like and uh, mic <laughs> separated. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yes, please tell me something. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Sergey, well, why is this guy is holding umbrella? Uh, <laughs> because he 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 was young and brave, and uh, he was a uh, uh, he was a fast result. <laughs> and he uh, he trusts uh, the local police department. Yeah. <laughs> so he was fooled. He was funny. <laughs> what, what's it? A cruiser yeah. found an umbrella. <laughs> but I, I, I think, for my, my impression, that Kevin Costner uh, acted well in this scene. So I believe that he understands nothing at that moment. And he doesn't believe that he found, found nothing. He said, yeah. uh, Crash all the boxes, find something, find alcohol. So he still believes it's just, you know, one box, not not the whole, uh, not the whole, whole operation. <laughs> it's fine. The one with uh, the sign, leaves of, I don't know, Canadian Ma leaves. Maple leaf. Maple leaf. The ones with uh, maple leaves must contain alcohol. <laughs> okay. <So. laughs> Was not true. Sergey, please, another one. So the, the yeah, uh, there is a meeting with uh, police officer of the street Malone and uh, Nev on the bridge, and we could see uh, a metal parts of uh, bridge, and uh, Malone uh, has uh, uniform, has uh, 
good uh, shirt and uh, police sign. Uh, I don't know why uh, uh, police sign looks like a Jude uh, stars. <laughs> David stars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you, do you know what was David Star? Do you know? Yeah, so Star, in, Star David. Yeah. Yeah. In in Nazi time, Nazi time, uh, Hitler prescribed every Jew to to wear this. Yeah. It looks exactly like uh, this a medal medal of sheriff. Yeah. It smell. Yeah. It smell of racism, I think. <laughs> Okay, and he has a number on his head. Can you see? Yeah. Three, three seven, six. Yeah. It was a part of dialogue when he asked it, asked uh, uh, about what is your name and your number. He said, "You can read them." What <laughs> uh, what's called uh, uh, small uh, pieces of metal uh, parts? On, on on the head, you mean? Yeah, no, 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 on, on the uh, middle part of bridge. Small, uh, small oh, bridge. Uh, yeah. Oh, the rivet, rivets, rivets, rivets. Yeah, yeah, rivets. Yeah, yeah. rivets. So, so kind of like bolts, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kind of like, like bolts, but you cannot, like, <laughs> de right, they're, they're permanent, <laughs> yeah. Permanent, yeah. You yeah. can, you can do cut them to, to release uh, the metal, right? Yep, steel okay, plates. Sean Connery, was, was, yeah. Sean, Sean Connery was fun. He was uh, speaking with a charm in this uh, movie. He was, but he was too. Uh, I don't know is it uh, how to describe it. He was very straightforward person, pe pe personal in in this movie. So, uh, not 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 a real not a real human. Just a, you know, just a motto of of police. Very blunt, yeah. Jart, what can you see? I have there? a question for Teacher Lee. What's the name of the tip yes. of a star? A point tip? The tip we the call tip. it we we call it a five. We would call this one a six-pointed star. A point, point, point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Normally stars are five points. Yeah. But the star of David is two triangles, so it has six points. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the Jewish the star, I think. Yeah, the same. Okay. What's that? Is this the mayor? It's the accountant, I guess. Ah, the accountant. Okay, I guess the it's... Mm -hmm. With a ledger. Yep. And a butler bringing toast, bread. We can see a plate with uh, many foods like pears, apples, grapes. Nothing more. Uh, also, a flower uh, in the plate, and the waiter also has a. How do you call that? This cloth hanging handkerchief. Napkin. 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 No. Yeah, white napkin. Um, you can see a beautiful painting on the top. Mm, with more nice desk, very elaborated. I don't know how do you call that? Baroque. With a very lot of yeah, baroque, baroque, very expensive yeah. taste. Yeah. Expensive. Uh, even the uh, on the right side, you can see a chair that uh, cream. So how, how would you call this? A cloth. The cloth we call velvet. Velvet, yes, yeah, velvet. Red velvet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very fancy, yeah. Behind the accountant, we can see six doors. Do you think it's valid, like a safe? Or Looks like a safe, to, to yeah. Keep? yeah. The ledger. There are six of them, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they have a lot of uh, things to store them, I guess. <clears throat> okay, let's let's go forward. <laughs> <laughs> who is this? Whoa, who is this? Oh, we don't hear you. This is Al Capone. <laughs> Al Capone. Okay, describe something. Describe something on this picture. 
he mm, he in in Lay. on the bed. Lay on, lay, on on his, he lay on his bed, right? Lays. And and he wants to eat. <laughs> yes, he's having his breakfast, right? It's a breakfast in the bed. <laughs> and there is a special like I don't know. Do we have a name for this actually? A special basket or plate? I guess just a, a tray. I don't know. Yeah. A tray. Okay, a tray. Mm -hmm. What about his face, Wawa? Is he sad or is he happy? What do you think? Is he's happy. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 smug, right? He's always has a, a face like everything belongs to him, right? So everything. So <laughs> I'm a king of the universe. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah, life of luxury. Mm -hmm. On the on the right, we can see two. Um, I don't know what is this. It looks like a vase, like yeah. Okay, something expensive, I, I guess. <laughs> we don't know what exactly. Okay, let's go forward. So a lady, a mother of the girl, I guess. Layla, do you remember this? Yeah. 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 Uh, this is after the unfortunate event uh, when Nas was unsuccessful, and uh, mm -hmm. the lady whose daughter was killed. She came into his office and she begged him, please, you're mm -hmm. not corrupted. Find her killer or killers. He was touched, mm -hmm. you know, he felt really sad about the little girl. And yeah. uh, uh, that's all I think. Yeah, so it's, um. so what is the building? I think it as the police department, right? His office. I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see no curtains at all. And there is the kind of uh, jalousy, we call it. Teacher Lee, what do you call it? We call those window blinds. Window blinds. Thank you, Teacher Lee. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and what about yeah, the so woman's hat? It is not hat. It is not cap. What do we call it? <laughs> I would call it the bonnet. And all... Ah, bonnet. <laughs> I say. Would you, would you wear such a such a hat? No, nowadays? thank you, Ivan. No, my dear friend. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if you if you put it on on you, it will be like um, no one century back or something. So I, yeah, but <laughs> I've never seen that. I mean, it's not popular nowadays. You see. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we don't wear hats as much as we did in the old days. If you look in the background, yeah, actually, behind mm -hmm. her head, you'll see a hat rack or a coat rack. Right. Mm -hmm. It's just a tall post with hooks. You can hang your coat and your hats on it. So we call it a hat rack or a coat rack. They are old fashioned as well, but I love them. Yeah. We still sell them. We still have them. I bought one particularly. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I will. It's always, it's always uh, a surprise for me how, um, how mandatory was wearing a hat at that time. You know, everyone, men and women, all has yeah. some. <laughs> yeah, strange. nowadays we, it's very rare. Yeah. Could be, could be the fashion. Yeah, kind yeah, of. it was just the fashion. Yeah. I have a question for Teacher Lee. Which decade they started not to wear hats? Uh, 50s, 60s, 70s? I don't remember. I have no idea, Gerard. Uh, <laughs> I, I was born in 1953. <laughs> and I don't remember seeing anyone wear hats. So, okay. so somewhere in the 1920s, 30s, 40s, they quit wearing hats. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I, I remember that my grandfather always had fedora or something, but uh, mm -hmm. It was not common at that time. He was kind of old-fashioned. So his peers, his they were without heads, but he always had one. So it was my grandparents. So it was a long time ago. 
Okay, let me skip through the, the few <clears throat> until we find something interesting. So it's a moment of recruiting Malone to the new team. They are at, the, at his house, Malone's house. And uh, actually, Malone was concerned about um, starting the war. He was concerned about his life. And also, he was concerned concerned about uh, Elliot. He, he, he was not sure that Elliot will go far enough. So and he want, he did not want to start the war and not to win this or to lose that, not to put it to, to the to the end. So that was uh, the conversation they they have. They, they have. The accountant he went I there lied. and said, you know, <laughs> he's so cute. I've, yeah, yeah, he was kind of uh, interesting character, right? He he's an brave, agent as was, well, right, Ivan? Yes, he's a federal agent. He from the oh. same department from Treasure something Treasure Department. Yes, and he went there to to help Elliot, and he helped it a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maloon, yes, an accountant. Yes, they sent accountant to to help with paperwork or something, and he immediately found a, a problem. So Maloon is provoking his guy provoking his guy to have a reaction he actually swearing at him and he say another italian pig is going to spoil my police department or something like this and guy reacted he hit malone and he said okay this one is enough <laughs> this one is, is good <laughs> uh. okay, they're starting his, their raid right they're starting their raid okay the photo the famous photo <laughs> <laughs> the, the, it, it, this photo went to the um, newspaper and we have and it says untouchable four right hey. oh that guy on the left looks like uh the guy that played in star man <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 so he it, it is and kevin costner oh. was in water world <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, the wow. dinner, right? The dinner of mafia and the guy with a butt. <laughs> Do you remember this? Sergey, would you wow. like to describe this one? Yeah, I would like so much the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about yes. the picture? Please describe it. Yeah, there is a circle, uh, there is a big circle table, and uh, uh, there, are, uh, there, are a beauty, there is a beautiful design uh of uh, this place and uh, we could uh i think four uh carpets and it's strange uh, for me because i think it's uh, uh for russia and for uh, uh Ar arabic people we uh, we like mm -hmm. the carpet so much yet <laughs> <I see. laughs> yeah. and uh, we uh, could see a lot of silverware and and uh, plates and uh, in the central circle table uh, is uh, some, I don't know what, maybe dessert or wine or meat. I, I can't understand. And Look, looks like a decoration, the, flowers, maybe, flowers and candles. Maybe yeah. in the center, in the center of photo, uh, uh, we can see Al Capone with the bed. And we are the team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am the team. <laughs> 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 this this wine holder do, can you see between a uh, waiter and this guy this, on the on the floor we have a white holder with ice so i know it's on the other side too. yeah 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 another one uh, and another one so it's to keep wine cold right so wine ice, coolers yeah yeah, very, yeah wine coolers wine <clears throat> those kinds of like doors I'm sorry. Those kinds of please, doors please, please. that we call those French doors. If there's two doors with windows in them, we call those French doors. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The there's guy on the right. Yeah, go ahead. The cake, right? It's a cake, I guess. It looks like a wedding cake, but I'm not sure. Maybe just a big cake. <laughs> there's a little stage there for live music for a band. A mm -hmm. piano, you can see a piano there. Yep. Yeah. Mm, some columns, right? Is it a column? I, I, 
We I start guess. with something. Yeah. Yeah, a lot yeah, of lights I, around the wall. A, I, I uh, noticed the interesting moment and in a uh, uh, movie of Mafia, about Mafia, uh, the, me uh, the meeting uh, between uh, teammates of Mafia uh, put inside, uh, put around the circle table. We are the team, uh, we are the mm -hmm. uh, equal, not the uh, equal. Mm -hmm. equal, not the... Uh, uh, for uh, for yeah. yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, I uh, I'm a boss, but I'm uh, I'm your teammate. Yeah, King Arthur sing here. Teacher Liver, teacher Liver, all yeah. We are all the the same. Yeah, we all King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. Yeah. I'll get right. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, okay. My favorite stakeout, right? And the trick <laughs> of. Uh... <laughs> And um, okay, I don't know what what to take. Let's let's start with this one. G Gerard, could you please? There are a lot of details, I guess. Okay. Here is a small hut next to the bridge to the border with Canada and the U.S. Waiting for the bootlegger to make the trade. Mm -hmm. The four untouchables are gathered here. You can see the four of them. And they are waiting uh, so they can advise the Canadian cavalry. You can see uh, a Stone preparing his arm. And Malone told him, uh, is your weapon ready? Have you cleaned with weapon? <laughs> <That's what. laughs> weapon is ready. Have you checked it? Yes. Put it down and forget about it. Stop, <laughs> Stop handling it here. Yeah. Something like this. <laughs> Kennedy is with Squid. So that's a kitchen, uh, every kitchen and dinner room, everything. <laughs> it's like the hut that is only one room in the whole hut. Yes. Yes. Very we, poor. In, in Russia, we call we, we call this like a hunter house or something like this. So it's a one room. It's not for living there. It's just for stay for a few hours or for a night or mm. something like this. I guess. If you look on the floor. Uh, between the two men on the left, you'll see yeah, a metal one. can. We call those milk cans. They used to deliver milk in those mm -hmm. kinds of cans. Old fashioned. We don't do it anymore. <laughs> hmm. I guess we still have them. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen them for a long time. Yeah, but but when I was young, it was everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it's kind of a stove, I guess. Looks like, like a kitchen area. Yeah. 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 Okay, let's let's go to Canadian cavalry. So that's the trick, right? Vova, do you remember this trick? What it was about? Vova, by your mic. Uh, the the Merlin want to to uh, to the to the to scare to scare the accountant right yes to scare the accountant and uh Melon don't know that he's dead <laughs> he, he know he knows that he's dead but he, he pretends that kind of he he's not dead he's taking conversation with a dead body he said you have to cooperate <laughs> with us or i shoot you in the mouth <laughs> <laughs> and that body of course keeps silence and he shoot <laughs> and the accountant was was kind of like surprised wow i'm the next one who, <laughs> <laughs> who they shoot yeah. so it worked yeah. <laughs> what about wallpaper teacher Lee? do you like the design <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> ugly ugly yeah <laughs> <laughs> Sergey, do you recognize this design of uh, wallpapers? I think it's an uh, advertisement uh, or carica, uh, for or satira uh, pictures. It's a newspaper, I guess. And it's what we do in our Russian hunter houses as well. We always put a lot of newspapers on the glue just to make uh, walls more like... Uh, <laughs> Warmer? <laughs> more warmer yeah so 
wind proof or something. Uh, <laughs> sometimes we have people that are they're too cheap to buy window blinds. So some people just put newspapers over the windows. <laughs> it looks really <laughs> trashy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Mm, let me pull. Yeah, this is the moment. Is the moment. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Marinus. <laughs> Uh, yeah, can you see this guy, the, the, those guys in white, they are kind of sailors, and you will see, T Sergei shared the link in our chat, you will see the origin of this. Okay, so the stroller, baby, Layla, would you like to describe this? No, no, I'm listening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay let's ask I, I have been talking since, you know, nine o'clock, so now time to listen. Yeah. Tishali, please. I'm still trying to figure out what a baby stroller has to do with the battleship. I haven't quite made the connection yet. Uh, it was a coincidence. So lady, she's on the top. She was uh, trying to climb the steps uh, yeah. up. And, one by one. Uh, one by one, yeah, very, very long way. And Elliot started to help her. And at that moment, Gunster came. So it was a just coincidence. So wrong time. But okay, what does what, 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 what does a baby stroller mm -hmm. what does a baby stroller going down the steps have to do with battleship Potemkin? <laughs> uh, it was the same idea, same idea. So you, you you'd better watch the, the, the so, movie. It's so, short, you know. It's so it's not on a battleship then. It's it's got no, steps. No, it's not about the battle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of a port or something. So sailors ah, okay. attacking the port. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Lee, okay. they almost reached the top stair, mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah. again, they have to, they had to go down because of the shooting. Okay. So the woman with fear left the baby carriage or whatever. Yeah, she let go of it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and two special agents, Elliot and Stone, can <laughs> take care about this. Uh, Ivan Stone is right? great. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one, right? Sergey, would you like to say something about this one, or let's skip it? Yeah, no, I I I don't know about the moment. <laughs> okay, okay, and the, we have a few more. I guess let's skip the court case. So we have this one actually, I guess. Action movie. Sergey, please describe it. Uh, at the top of building, uh, and uh, we uh, can see some wires for uh, movement, uh, maybe uh, brick, uh, brick or different parts of uh, decoration, maybe uh, buckets. And uh, uh, there is a beautiful uh, wall uh, with. Uh, plant uh, around around uh, the windows, but I think it's a good place for meeting uh, men and women because it uh, uh, looks romantic. And, uh, <laughs> okay. yeah, romantic. And, and around uh, this building is a circle, and uh, around the uh, top of circle uh, is. Uh, metal uh, pipes uh, for 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 what i don't know maybe for movement something it's i i i can only guess i think maybe it's a conduit to deliver water for these plants or something it i, I i've never seen this before but it looks like the metal frame on top is to tie ropes to so you can climb down on a rope and clean the windows maybe Normally we use scaffolding today, but maybe in those old days they didn't have scaffolds, so they had to go down on a rope to clean the windows on the outside. I don't know. I've never seen that before. <laughs> yeah, maybe this green walls, they take a lot of um, like um, work to, to maintain them, so probably they made it like permanent. Yeah. I guess. Don't know. Okay, so killer is on on this on on the bottom, right? And I don't know why he didn't jump down, jump to the yours, and I don't know. So actually, in the movie, he 
uh, when Elliot came, killer uh, went back to the top, right, and got arrested. What else? I don't know. <clears throat> Sometimes uh, a, a roof, when you're in, in, a, in construction in the U.S., walls and roofs are sometimes covered with a material we call tar paper. And it's black mm -hmm. and waterproof. And it's kind of sticky and absorbs heat. So we'll put rocks on top of it to reflect the heat. Yeah and minimize the heat that is absorbed through the roof. So this looks kind of like an old tar paper roof with rocks on top of it. Yeah, yeah. I guess we still use it somehow for, not, not for houses, but for, 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 for garages, for farmhouses, for something like this. Maybe, yeah, we don't use it much anymore. Not as common, yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Poor man's roof. Well, <laughs> yeah, okay. So good discussion. <laughs> I, I I I I think the movie was not that bad, but at the same time it was not fantastic. <laughs> I would not watch it again. I like it. <laughs> okay, at least Leila liked. Okay, we, we have chosen already episode of Star Trek, and I will share in our chat. So some from the series, from the original series, you know, one one another another episode of Star Trek. So see you next week. And bye bye. Thank bye. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.